on the spiritual path there will be a lot of obstacles and mainly they will come from your mind, from your ego, from an inner system which doesn't want that you are actually taking on the deceptor, yeah. like the king. That's the whole theme in the Bhagavad Gita. Arjuna and his brothers, they would be the right heirs for the kingdom, but Duryodhana, ego and desires have taken over. They will not just give it back easily, so there will be obstacles. That's why there is this inner fight, and you have to fight this inner fight. If you like it or not, life is a struggle, and the greatest struggle is the struggle with yourself, and the greatest victory is the victory over yourself. If your goal is a spiritual one, probably, probably some of the obstacles are there to show you you should keep going. On the other hand, if you have uh, obstacles in life which you can see they are not helpful for your spiritual path, then probably life is going to show you to leave them behind. Again, you can measure them on your goal. In the Bhagavad Gita, for example, in chapter 16, Krishna describes divine qualities and demonic qualities. Uh, he speaks about dharma, righteousness, and adharma, unrighteousness. He, sp he speaks about all those things so that you can take these principles, principle of non-violence, uh, principle of non-judging, uh, being kind, living a pure life, um, self-restrained life, etc., etc. Like many things he describes which are helpful for spiritual growth. So if the obstacles are the opposite of those instructions, if your obstacles are related because you're living a life against Dharma, against righteousness, against the divine qualities which you have inside of you, then maybe that is a sign that you should leave that. If you're having addictions, if you're having inner limitations, if you're very judgmental, if you're envious, greedy, angry, um, all those qualities which create a lot of obstacles in life, then I would take them as a sign to leave them because they are described in the Bhagavad Gita as uh, gateways to hell, if you want. They will make your life hell. Therefore, um, if, you, if those are the obstacles, then take them as a sign to stop with that kind of behavior or whatever it is. But if the obstacles come from your spiritual pursuit, then keep on going, keep on fighting harder. Take your bow and fight, find the inner warrior. You need to find that one. Spiritual path is a path where you need to find the inner warrior. You need to find Arjun inside of you. It is not a path for weak people. You have to find your inner strength. God is with you. The master is with you. So take your bow and fight.